Nice one. Uh, before we go into, you know, we're starting the, the, the conversation. We are chatting. I mean, uh, we are all locked down and uh, we are taking this opportunity to motivate ourselves to, you know, uh, speak some inspirational words to our colleagues who are depressed, who are frustrated because it's not easy for people to survive under yes. this condition. And um, as a reverend or pastor, which one? Is it Reverend or Pastor Evangelist? As a pastor, uh, all right, can you, you give us a few lines of words of motivation we whilst we are all locked down before we continue our chat? Dear Heavenly Father, once again, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We okay. thank you and we bless you for a time like this. Even right. as we share fellowship in talking about music, Father, I want to pray that wherever anybody is watching us from, let your mighty right hand of righteousness rest upon us. Grant us your peace that passeth all understanding in this challenging times so that those who have lost hope, Father, restore their hope. This is what we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All that I want to say, um, all that I want to say very shortly that after I've prayed, is that I'm, okay, I'm here so, to encourage uh, somebody. Okay. It's true, we are going through challenging times. Uh, COVID-19 is all over the place. People have lost hope mm. because people are dying. There are many people who this Easter have lost loved ones and family members. I just want to encourage you <laughs> that there is hope for our generation. Don't give up. No that God is still on his throne. Amen. Amen. Okay, so if you just join us, right, I'm right, with right, uh, right. Pastor G. Love. David, David, David. David. G-Man, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, I can see some records, uh, vanilles and uh, images behind you. Uh, the moment you see those pictures, what comes to mind is Michael Jackson, MJ. I started with James Brown, so um, I much. You see, uh, I lived I lived in Kumasi. Oh, okay. Briefly, uh, because my my auntie mm -hmm. used to work at City Hotel, and uh, I, uh, yes, I had to come from Accra to Kumasi to come and spend. Uh, the vacation okay. period, the long vac with my auntie. And my auntie had a record player. A record player. And uh, my auntie had 45s. Like the little one you guys see behind me. That's, okay. that's a 45. The small ones. that Right. <laughs> so my, yeah, my auntie yeah, had the small ones. of these yeah. 45s. And uh, it was James Brown at that time. <laughs> that time I didn't Michael Jackson was still a baby, but James Brown that time. And uh, mm. I used to play it. I learned how to operate it. And yeah. I'll play it and I'll start dancing. There was Sex Machine. There was Funky Four Corners. There was uh, uh, Say It Loud. I'm black and proud. <laughs> and and this, is, this is the... The songs that I grew up oh, Lord with, of them. Wow. just behind Hotel the King Swing, <laughs> and um, the, yeah, this is this is how I started my dancing project. Oh, I see. And then I moved on uh, till Michael Jackson came out with Off the Wall, and I used to just love Michael Jackson's videos. Were not there. So there were no videos, but I'll listen to the music and I'll do my own dance. I'll do my own dance. Right. So music was always with me and dance has always been part okay. of me. Oh, I see. Okay, so we're talking about dance. And then it means you are a bit, not closer, but guys like Azigiza, Ajitisoa, uh, Reggie Rockstone and few others were guys no, that you used to hang out with or used to meet at competitions or you're not just you're not doing it professionally. Yeah, I was the first disco dance champion in Ghana. Oh, okay. I was competing with a guy called Roy C. 
I was competing so with your time. Uh, who were you competing with? We were the people that started uh, the competition in Babylon Club in Accra. Okay. So it was in the 80, 81, and then I left for England. So it was okay. after I left before Ajete Sowa came. So they are, yeah, so they are all my juniors. Oh, I see. No, 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 no. I started off as a dancer. So before you my left, you had no record out or no song out? That is High Life in G Major. Uh, the, the one that you were playing, the gospel version. So that, right. Yeah, right. Okay, so that was in 1987. Right. I recorded that in England. Uh, because uh, I left uh, that uh, in 1981 uh, uh, yeah. and went to base in England. And then I started doing the Michael Jackson lookalike contest after I had won a dancing competition doing Michael Jackson. So, so after that, I started touring the whole world with Michael Jackson lookalike shows. Then I by see. 19... Uh, 87, I decided that I needed to add singing to my dancing, you know, and, and um, that is when I started to write songs and recorded her life in G major. Right. Oh, I see. Let's go back a bit. Uh, to be a dancer Crazy. in the club like and blah this. and all that, <laughs> why your not? parents' reaction why, was why, like why what? Why not person about a dancer? I mean, back <laughs> in those days, you know, dancing. Because that's a You know, and they, they were like crazy. They used to come and catch me, beat me up and make me go and sleep because I was very little when I started, you know. But I loved it so much. And that time, not in disco crime, okay. I started about yeah. six years, when I was about six years. Yeah. I taught each. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I knew that's that's all, all 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 and I wanted to <laughs> get it going, but Saturday six years. My professor was six years. And so that is when I started. And um, okay. it, it was not easy. But that time, not bands, um, I would uh, I would go to live bands, yes, yes. Live bands, you know. Live bands. And say say back Kumasi, I'll go to cultural center. Back in okay. the day, Hotel the King Suite, I just mentioned it to you. Somehow I was able to sneak into mm -hmm. there. And yeah. yes, and I would negotiate with them. Floor show. And because I was so little, you know, I'm so sure I'm saying I'm so okay. Show us some moves. And I would do some sliding on the on the floor, they would say, interesting. <laughs> so then everybody was said, they would let everybody sit down, create a floor show, and I'll perform. And that's how I started. That's how I started. Oh, okay. Any particular... Uh... Any particular musician, oh, yeah, popular many, musician many, that you perform uh, for? Obi to say, um, Jedu Bleambule. I remember I used to dance for Jedu Bleambule way back. This was 1973. You know, there was okay. a big show that he had at Orion Cinema. You, it was like a group of bands. And uh, <laughs> our tie collar. And then Toma Kola and I, the boy, our boy. Like, yeah. And then I there were a band that I used to hang around with called the B Suyaya, Sarah mm -hmm. Beto and the B Suyaya. You know, back in when I it is some shay. Now we can say and it ne a shots here. We got up one day. <laughs> 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 and also, this is this is where we started from. <laughs> and Sana when when the disco started, you know. Yeah, but Mama Muchi, you know, um, to come and perform that now mm -hmm. dancing 
Nations Championship from She Club in Tema to Babylon to Black Caesar, you name it. And t- it was during that time that mobile discos started coming out, like uh, uh, Willy Chi sounds. Uh, Samens, Samens was one of the pioneers who right. started, and then later on, Mifia Brucheba and Skyhawks and Swaba, and then the, the Mobi schools and what have you. Okay, yeah. and say this is this, yeah, okay, yeah, but then, yeah, correct, but then not uh, radio and TV, now uh, GBC, MC Radio One, blah, blah, those kind of channels. Who was the biggest MC? MC must point to Numbe actually. Charlie Sam. Uh, ah, okay, time, Charlie Sam. Was what, what about Ponchu? Master C. Charlie Sam. He was the big dude. Okay. Then Tommy and I'm forcing. Right. Then you had mm-hmm. Godwin and Then you had uh, right? Bannerman. Then you had. Uh, Okay. Um, Yawa Samoa. Okay. These were these were the big guys on radio. They, these were the big wigs. Mm-hmm. No GBC. This were the big wigs. Yes, yes. These were the guys. Intiponcho right. Numu came later, crap. Mm. No. Yes, I'm gonna take you. So Poncho, KKD, and the mentioned. rest were. I'm going to take you over from yeah. then, Anna. I was the oh, first Ghanaian to enter I into see. the so world. So traveling world out, world what was the purpose? That was, that was my dream. And that was the same. That was what opened the door for Aditya Sowa uh, to go win that contest. So I'm not going to be on COVID. And I was the first ever Ghanaian to get into that competition. People right. thought it was impossible because mm. when videos started coming, VHS, and I started, yeah, we started seeing, say, ah, there is a bigger competition because I had won yeah. everything in Ghana. Yeah, one girl. A do point to be somewhere dancing competition, that's a me show up, and nobody wants to dance because they knew that they mm. knew the, the end result. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so then, who was managing you? Another one, and I do two oh, things. Are... I used to run because they wouldn't let me. So, your parents, where were they? Oh, my parents were teachers. My dad was a teacher, my mom was a teacher. Teach anybody away, then cook us away, dancer. <laughs> so, okay. Yes, it teacher for bad yet. I saw for bad yet. I know my yamana in the cray. That was how it was. <laughs> so, when they realized I, I that so. your dream now is, is there, they did not accept what was the reaction until comment? I traveled. Okay, when I traveled and started performing on bigger stages and started making money. Okay. And if Omu said, because one said, mm. right, one say a lot of people have this mentality, say, Yeah, um, Ubiya, the coin, yeah, no benum we, or benum monsa, aha, ain't you know, Ubiya, and person, the barber, called no we, let's know about them. So, as I say, ain't see, mm. every parent want to kick against it, but in all this, they realize, they realize, say, mm-hmm. I wasn't into smoking, I wasn't into drinking, I wasn't into none of those things. Okay. In the end, they accepted it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. So you months. were out for how long? I mean, after that was your first travel. That was, right. Is it 86? 81 or 2 coin. I, I, I went to base. Anna, who stayed UK for how long? I Ghana in 87, very really album. Yeah, I was, I was living there permanently. Oh, okay. I just didn't go for a show and come back. Yeah. I just moved there. And we move over to now. Oh, I see. Mm. 
87 yeah the album so yeah after the first was it it was an album right her life in g major yeah. her life in g major her life in g why that Uh, did, did you see some co- did you did you see some comments radio no matter what from um, i don't know i don't know i don't know if you're Sorry. reading the comments uh, some, <laughs> yeah somebody says that uh, let, says let me see that's, that's look old. <laughs> is it about the age <laughs> the man the man's only look old tonton 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 oh, uncle oh, okay <laughs> okay all right Oh, my, my, oh, Tonton right. is uncle. The, the word Tonton is uncle. She's Ivorian, yeah. Now, um, age me busa because me no kase jina. Did you me me no me show picture now me share where you coming from now, Bobo? Hey, hey, you know me be aware, yeah. I, I am. I am. Man, you know so you you are in your fifties, but as to be your mate, I don't know. If I look young, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am in my I am in my more than mid fifties. Hey radio, hey radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, who's here? Yeah. So yeah. coming back to release the song, the album, the okay, name, no? we're on the you name "Her name Life in G Major. G Major." Why that? Okay. Right. So it's her life in G man major. G uh, man. And everything that I did, I represented with a G. So it became her life in G major. Like okay. G fourteen. We'll get to that. Our job being my first album I represent the G. So you can't miss yeah. the G. Right. Right. The G, okay. So, yeah, you know. Just, just use the word major. In music, you, you know, you know, in music you have minor scale and major scale. Okay, so a major scale in music and a minor scale in music. Talking about bring it into a major scale. Him, her life in. G major, which is a musical skill, and basically that's it. Okay. Mhm. At that time, songs you did, who were your yeah? Who were competing with artists? Better now, no more. A box is here, a bobo artist, in any way, and more popular in. The I, I miss that. I miss. Well, was I more popular? Kahone. Okay, unfortunately, is making you break. Nti no. So, my next question is, I'm going to ask you repeat the question. Okay. So the question was. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Album no. Your competitors. That kind of hard life now, we're boy. You know. Even okay. So I'm going to say something now that um, will baffle a lot of people. Um, at, at the time, I'm mean, really see her life in Jimmy Joe or Ghana. Now there hadn't mm. been any uh, hit song that was done in English, okay, by a guy by a Ghanaian artist. So, that time now, okay. nobody would, would buy it. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, we are going to be here. So, we are Bruni now to Jimmy Cliff. Mind you, you yeah. know, produces a song and sing in English. It was normal. But for a Ghanaian to sing a song that was fully English, you know, <laughs> it, it, it would not make a hit. No, no, no. Of course not. Is that what I said? Because... Uh, that was, it was a no, no, no at the time. So, her life in G major was the first song that made that impact purely okay. in English. 
Okay. Um, the likes, the the likes okay. of the people who were okay. hitting at that time during '87 when the song was released was Ben Bracken came out at the same time. Um, Chasamwa came. Chasamwa came out around the same time. Okay. Uh, with his album, and then Rex Genfi. Rex Genfi also came out. So 1987, mm. we had strings, strings of hits that came during that time. And then okay. I remember, I think uh, Cantata came out before, before they came out in 85, and I'm about out in 87. So Cantata was not around the same time. But I remember, sir, that year, 87, when I released it, Ben Bracken, definitely, and then Rex Genfi. Okay. And then Charles Amwa. This, this were, this were the. Again, I say this in all humility. Her life in G major has stood the test of time. I'm up to today. I get. Hey, me taxi. Oh yes. Hey, me wa pass you. Yeah, bo on your mono. Uh -huh. so <laughs> <her life laughs> major, it's like a good wine. It has age, but still taste. That's it. So that is just a good music right there. Gracefully. <laughs> mm. Okay, so Cynthia wanted to find out. That song, as she said, she thought it's from Cameroon, uh, in Abidjan, they use the 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 the, the, the the, the, the tune or whatever to promote okay. their beauty uh, the instrument uh, contest and stuff. was originally done by the, the program the who did it artist called Worry Badaru. Okay, so that it was only an instrumental. And see that song, okay, see his song was released, uh, I think around okay, 83 84. So I had a friend who was a DJ, and then he said to me, "You should listen to this song." Mm -hmm. It was UK, and then when I heard the song, I liked the song. The groove was really mm -hmm. nice. So what I decided was to contact him. He was based in Paris, and the song was released through mm -hmm. Island Island Records, you know. And say so I got in touch with Island okay. Records and Island Records got in touch with a guy mm -hmm. who gave me his number. So I called him and told him to have written lyrics that I want to put to his song. And he gave me the go ahead. So then I went into the studios and re-recorded it. Mm -hmm. Sat I'm not sampling crime by it. Until you couldn't have sampled it. Until when you listen to the two versions, uh, you will see say, it is different. Okay. My starts with the Right, so so that is the difference. So I re-recorded. Yeah, this one around little more drums and of the instrumentation that probably the lady knew. So the francophone countries were playing the instrumental, but the interesting thing is that when her life in G major came out, I went to Burkina Faso, and it was all over the place. I went to Togo, and it was all over the place. Mm. I went to Ivory Coast. I went to Ivory Coast. I went and did a TV program in Ivory Coast called Afriki Twa. That means <laughs> Stars of Africa. Uh, and it was hosted, it was hosted by uh, Masi Dimongo. Masi okay. Dimongo. Yeah, she's in the States now. And Junior. Junior was a guy that Ufi Boahin had taken to Paris for school. And he was the youngest radio and TV presenter. And they okay. hosted me in the Ivory Coast, and it was a bomb. So the song became a hit in all the Francophone countries. Okay, so when it comes to image, personality, uh, the stagecraft, the act and music videos, it looks like Chasamwa was a bit... Was it close, or he was... Somebody was also pushing? Uh, was, was it Charles yeah, also? Yeah, you see... Kelly, the, 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 and the dance, the, the move. How was it like those days? I believe for all of us was Michael Jackson. And then, obviously, people would not maybe admit it or go straight to the point. But you could see Chassis okay. 
element was also the Michael Jackson influence. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody, everyone, everybody. Yeah, that is somebody wants to as as an artist. You want to be able to. Yeah. Obi at Obi That's a bad. We show. Now, sebi. Where if we have better than us in our world, right? Nibu 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 befu. So for us who, aha, uh -huh. <laughs> for us who came <laughs> from the dance background, show <laughs> performance was our thing. And teachers also did his best to come out as as much as you know to right right. right. You stayed in UK for years. You released an album. You came to do a couple of tours. Uh, after her life in G Major, yes. did you release uh, any other after her life album? In G Major, my second album was The Dancing Man. Uh, the Dancing Man was released in nine. Sorry, there was Hip Hop the Jungle, the one behind me, but that was not released in Ghana. Okay, yes, the one be the one directly behind me. That was. That was yeah. released by CBS okay. Records. CBS Records. CBS, yeah, International was the same label that Michael Jackson was okay. on. That's the same, yeah, that's the same uh, company label that released mm. this. And it was only released in Europe. Um, Hip Hop The Jungle. It was a single. And a maxi single. Okay. So after okay. that, the next album was the Dancing Man album. Okay. So the Dancing Man album was what I was doing the the movie on, and and the inf unfortunate incident happened, and I had to go to prison. No, the album. The album. Okay, it was doing that single. Yes. Anna, the album, the the album was uh, nineteen nine nine. No. 19 ah, the album. Okay, the album. Okay. And that was yes, uh, the dancing man album. Uh, that was eighty six. I think I think I sent I sent the pictures to nineteen ninety four. I have yes, oh, okay. I have I have a copy okay. of it here. I'll, I'll, let me grab this. Uh, right, you did. This. I have them on my phone. <laughs> I have them on let my me phone. Grab this. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, yeah, grab it. Let the people see it. Drink. I was drinking my tea. Okay, so this this is the this is the dancing man album. Okay. It's very this, important. This was released <laughs> okay. in um, 1994. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we're doing a movie for this, using this as a soundtrack okay. for the movie. And that was when the incident happened. The incident happened in 95. Where did you get that gun? <laughs> Somebody gave it to me. <laughs> uh, I think As a licensed gun talking. or just boys, boys, and, uh, just all. He wanted to protect me, so I I just come back to base in Ghana, and the place uh, okay. I to know. I was told that arm robbers were always coming there, so he said, "Oh, you know, take mm -hmm. this, and every now and then fire a warning shot, and when they know there's oh, a gun okay. in this, and when they know there's a gun in this place, they won't come." Sometimes you know, Jimmy Cochran, you know. Boga uh, Bata. You know, I, I, I took it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but okay, now fame, money. Uh no. your level you 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 didn't have any manager, right? So everything is by yourself and uh yeah, I believe that's a good question. So how, um, how are you managing that fame? I put it this way. Life without Christ is crisis. So, ni panya wia so japadie ni nana so ni nyamea. So, ni panya seme mobo. Okay. Basically, that was, that was just it. That, that was mm. just it. If you don't have Christ, you are nothing. And then, who were around you? Who were the guys no, around you? I didn't have... Were they friends or they were family fans? People around me. They or were, family guys? I, I, they were my employees. I had a lot of employees. And then the fans were also there. So they, they, were, they were more the people that worked with, okay. worked with me. You know, I had a lot of dancers mm. at that time. Sometimes you took one year. And you probably 30. And then I 
yeah, and I was taking care of all these people, and uh, that was that was what it was. Wow. Yeah, yeah. When I when I came during those but period, in, in Ghana, were you yeah. moving around I that much? I was, I was doing tours. I was playing gigs all over. Like places, places like. What was your relationship uh, with Jagabi? Was he a close friend or uh, it was a casual friend that you had? I don't talk about that. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's, he's somebody in the past. And say, so, yeah, I don't like doing really? it. I would rather talk about things that I can answer. Okay. Mm. The reason that... The the reason why I'm asking is yeah. because I don't say as public figures, celebrities, yeah. people don't see the other side of us, and uh, they think all is well. They don't see us as human beings as they are. I I, I it, you know if something goes wrong, they forget yeah. they are also human, and a lot of yeah, you know we across, and maybe the question is not to seek for justifying certain things mm -hmm. but i just wanted to see the kind of friendship because you were then a star like a top i mean uh -huh. so if an artist is watching this right now who thinks that he's untouchable today it's can relate to your lifestyle it's a very good question and learn lessons from uh, it that's the reason why i'm asking this question shatawalini stone boy issue by I took it upon my I took it upon myself to do a video to advise on okay. me now. And yeah. I be, and I believe that um they heard it, saw it, and probably right. reasoned. So um I am working on my book. The book is coming out this year, God willing. Okay. And and it and in the book, mm. I detail all these things. It's, it's my side of the story that has never been told. And I believe the book will go a mm. long way to educate a lot of people okay. on what to do with fame and money. But what mm. say? It is. So that when I'm right. long gone, which is very, very important, will be here yes. to help somebody's life. And that is the reason I'm putting that book together. And uh, if you look at a couple of musicians or celebrities who have gone through certain crises, like we have O.J. Simpson, yeah. we have um, Bill Cosby, yeah. uh, Mike Tyson, Genedia, yeah. um, this golfer, um, Tiger Woods, Genedia, now it's on R. Kelly. Uh, and it is, it is I mean, Spain. what is Spain in there? Has a way Show business. What is in there? making you think you are Invincible. So they're saying, to fame, anything I'm a life or that Christ is crisis. Okay. Take with the Houston. Take Bobby Brown. Crisis. So with the Houston came to meet mm. stars before her. Ne 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 Dion Warwick. Dion Warwick is still alive and singing. Yeah. With the Houston. Has passed and gone. So what me I say? Uh -huh. That is okay. because though she began in a church, she departed from the things of God. Mm -hmm. So until when fame and money influences you to depart from right. the source of your talent. Now, who is the source of talent? Satan does not give talent, and talent does not come from common sense. Talent God. comes from God, your maker. So if you don't, don't acknowledge him and live by his precepts, okay. Now see oh media and then my Jimmy Dean, my Jimmy Dean, my Jimmy Dean, and I can live anyhow I want, I can do what I want, whether you mm -hmm. like it or not. Kinda who said there were people before you, and there will be people after you. So you are not the all in all. And mm -hmm. this is why mm -hmm. so badly. It's because 
they have a life without Christ. And every life without Christ, artists who are also messing up, those as gospel artists, they, 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 they somehow preach the word of God through music. Yet, when you are at the top as a musician, they're celebrating money, fame, whatever, mm -hmm. beside the spiritual part of it, which is Christ, because I've seen a couple of gospel artists who also mess up, though they are carrying the word of God. Practically, physically, there's what are the thing. things they need in their lives it's around it's them a, it's for a them to stay See, focused? The said, will be to gospel music. You have unbelievers okay. who sing gospel music and they still call themselves gospel artists. You even have pastors who are unbelievers. And so they call themselves pastors. Okay, yeah. Into the fact, or say, by their fruits, by their fruits, you will know them. What did I say? Into whom gospel right. singer, or quadru, or quadru, so fruits, okay. Singer. 